Right, okay, so we'll start on our mats this morning. As always, a little bit of a warm up with um, fascia circles. So starting with the left leg, we'll start circling through the ankle. Doing as big a circle through the ankle as you possibly can. And then take those circles in the other direction. And then take those circles on up into the knee. And then take them the other way. And then into the hip. Fascia circles is a great way to prepare the body for exercise, whatever type of exercise you're planning. And then take those circles in the other direction. And then we'll move over to the other side. Circles <coughs> into the ankle first. And then take those circles the other direction. And then into the knee. And the other way. And then into the hip. And the other way. Excellent. We're bringing both feet down to the floor, circle through the hips, really taking them back and bringing them forwards. <coughs> Nice big movements. And then let's take those circles in the other direction. And then bringing the hips to stillness, circle through the ribs. So really trying to get some movement into the middle spine. And then once you've done a few one way, take them the other direction. And then into the wrists, nice big circles through the wrists. A few circles one way, then a few circles the other way. And then with a closed fist, a few circles one way, and a few the other way. And then into the elbows, and the other way. And then really big circles through the shoulders, reaching up, reaching back. Doing them nice and slowly, getting into all of those crunchy bits through the shoulders. Recognising the space in between the shoulder blades and see how that feels this morning as you reach back. And then take those circles the other direction, reaching back, reaching up. And then letting the arms come down by the sides, take the left ear towards the left shoulder and just stretch out there for a moment. And use your hand over the top of the head if that feels good, or just hang out in the stretch. And then roll your head all the way around the front and bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. And again, you can hang out there or if you want a bit extra, you can bring your hand over the top of your head. And then roll the head forwards, get your chin as close to your throat as you can, interlace the fingers, cup the back of the skull, and press the head up into your hands as you resist that movement with your hands.
and then lastly take the hands behind your back stretch the fingers away and stretch the chest forwards then take the chin up towards the ceiling keeping the back of the neck long couple of breaths here and then release that off come into the tops of your mats feet hip width or together whichever feels more natural for you inhale arms up exhale folding forwards big bend in the knees inhale half lift long back long neck exhale fold step it back to plank take the knees down take the chest and the chin down scoot forwards into cobra exhale back down tuck the toes take the hips back towards the heels push it up to our first down dog maybe have a wiggle and a jiggle here stepping one heel down stepping the other heel down maybe stretching the chest through towards the thighs move wherever you feel you need to move this morning then looking forward set the feet behind the wrists exhale fold inhale half lift exhale fold inhale all the way up exhale hands back to heart center inhale arms up exhale folding forwards inhale half lift exhale fold step it back to plank take the knees down take the chest and the chin down scoot forwards into cobra exhale back down tuck the toes take the hips back towards the heels push it up to your downward facing dog three really deep breaths here moving your dog wherever you need to move it or keeping it static if that feels good this morning Then looking forward, step the feet behind the wrists, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, it all the way up to the top, exhale, hands back to heart centre. Inhaling, arms up, exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Step or jump it back to plank, knees, chest, chin, cobra or chaturanga, up dog. And then coming back into your downward facing dog just for a moment. Looking forward, step or hop it forwards behind the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Keep it moving. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step or jump it back to plank. Either chaturanga up dog or knees, chest, chin, cobra. And then push it back up to your downward facing dog. Really stretch that chest through towards the thighs and then looking forward, step or hop forwards, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up to the top. Exhale, hands back to heart centre. Excellent. Okay, getting into our hit. We've got a predominantly legs based class today, but if you want to use some weights um, to work the arms too, then you can. If you don't have weights to hand, you can use a couple of bottles of water or a couple of cans of lentil soup, whatever takes your fancy. <clears throat> the first hit round today is Goddess Dance. So I think you guys all know this one. <clears throat> Essentially, we come into chair, we open out into Goddess, we then come to chair on the other side, and then we bring our fists to our hips as we stand up. But really think about making that standing up really strong so everything's pulled in and we're really lifting up and out of the waist so into our chair then back into our goddess into the chair the other side and then those fists come to the hips i'm going to do four without weights and then four with but obviously it's your practice so do what's good for you with eight rounds of this one so let's go so chair open it out into goddess chair fists to hips so make sure that you keep the breath moving <sighs> nice noisy exhales i like to exhale on me up <sighs> but breathe where suits your practice <sighs> and first round's done and rest Okay, next round, get ready. Let's go. <sighs> nice, noisy exhales. <sighs> Keep the hips nice and low on your goddess. 
Step as wide as feels comfortable. Always keeping the shoulders above the hips. Good, and rest. So we're never leaning forwards, we're always keeping the shoulders up. Get ready for the next round, let's go. Move those arms as though you're moving them through treacle. You're really engaging the muscles and pulling them back to the hips. Good. Okay. Might need to open the door. <laughs> Let's go, next round. <laughs> Moving as fast or as slow. <laughs> this feels good for you. <laughs> but always making sure you keep your form. Good, and rest. <clears throat> Next round. <sighs> nice and low in the hips. <sighs> nice big exhales. Good, and rest. Three more to go. <clears throat> Get ready, and go. rounds. <laughs> Get ready and go. Really pulling those tummy muscles in, keeping those shoulders up. Keep breathing. Good. And rest. <clears throat> Last round. Let's go. Get those hips nice and low. And rest, well done. Okay, have a little drink of water if you need. Okay, so, mm, we're gonna go straight into the next one. No rest for the wicked today. So starting in the centre of our mats. For this one, we basically go over to the side and squat. We come back to centre and then we go to the other side and squat. Now you can either keep your hands at your hips for the whole way, if you just want to really work the legs. Or if you want to, you can have arms up as you squat fists to hips as you come back up. Arms up as you squat, fists to hips as you come back. Equally, if you want to use the weights, you can do that too. So, arms up to squat, fists to hips as we come back. Arms up to squat, fists to hips as we come back. So side to side to side to side. And again, if you want to mix it up, do four with, four without, then feel free to do so. Starting in the centre of your mats. Let's go. So, squatting over, back to centre. Squat the other side, back to centre. Good. Really get those hips down nice and low. Think about really squeezing the inner thighs towards one another as you push back up. Good. Keeping those shoulders up and rest. First round's done already. 
Go so quick. Go so fast when you're having fun. <laughs> okay, let's go again. <clears throat> side to side to side. Keeping the shoulders above the hips as much as you can. So try not to lean forward too much. Keep the head up, keep the shoulders up. Make all the work come from the legs. Pull the tummy muscles in. Squeeze those inner thighs towards one another. Oh, and another round's done already. Check you guys out. Okay, so there's two down, six to go. So if you want him to move it up, then this time, arms up, fists to hips. Arms up, fists to hips. Good stuff. Go from side to side. Pull those tummy muscles in. Excellent work. Get those hips down nice and low. Remember those noisy exhales. Good. Another round done. I like to exhale on the up. Gives me more energy to get back up. Next round. <coughs> Good. Keep moving. Really squeeze those inner thighs together. Squeeze those tummy muscles in and up as you come up. Good. Really strong, controlled movements. And rest. Okay, we're halfway through. So if you want to go back to hands on hips, but with your weights, then go to hands on hips with your weights. Okay, so squatting over, bringing it back. Squatting over, bringing it back. Good. Really using those leg muscles, squeezing those inner thighs together as you come up. Nice noisy exhales on the up. Hips down nice and low. Oh, and we've done another one already. Three more to go. <clears throat> Let's go. Hips nice and low. Keep those shoulders up. Keep that head up. Good. It's easy for the shoulders to slip forwards when we get a bit tired. So really keep those shoulders above the hips as much as you can. Good. Keep stepping. Oh, and we're done. Okay, last two. So if you want to up it again, this time, weights go up as we squat to the side. Ready? Let's go. So up and then fists to hips. Up, fists to hips. Good. Really pull those tummy muscles in. Really engage those inner thighs to press back to the centre. Nice noisy exhales. Good stuff. And rest. Last 20 seconds. <clears throat> Get ready. Let's go. Almost there. Keep moving. Good stuff. And rest. Have a little drink of water. And then let's stretch out those hamstrings. So, I mean quads. So really hug the heel into the bum, holding on with the hand. Tuck the tailbone under and then stretch the knee back. Just a couple of breaths this side. And then switch to the other side. So holding the foot in the hand, squeeze the heel into the glute, tuck the tailbone under, and then stretch the knee back. Few breaths there. And then dropping both feet down to the floor. Come into a forward fold with a nice big bend in the knees. Really engage the muscles in the legs, holding on to your calves so you can feel that those muscles are engaged. Take a nice big inhale. And keeping those muscles engaged, 
Exhale, stretch the legs and stretch all those muscles down the back of the legs. So inhale to bend, exhale, stretch and straighten. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch and straighten. Keeping those muscles in the legs tight. So do a few more like this and just notice that the more you inhale, bend, exhale, straighten, the more space you have to straighten a bit more and reach your head down to the floor a bit deeper. Good. Okay, next round's based on warrior one. So we're doing dips and kicks. Two dips, two kicks. You guys know these ones, we've done them loads of times. So hands on hips, we're dipping that back knee down to the floor and then we're stretching it out. Dipping it down to the floor, stretching it out. If you want to work the um, legs a little bit harder, then you can obviously keep your um, weights at your waist, dipping it down, stretching it back. You can also have them straight down if that feels more comfortable. So just adding a tiny bit of weight to the exercise. So two of those, <clears throat> and then we do two kicks, which we definitely won't have the weights for because we don't want to have anything flying around as we're kicking. So for the kicks, arms up, you can either bring your knee through with your fists coming to your hips, or you start in your warrior one and you kick your leg through. So two dips, two kicks, then we switch to the other side. Let's go. So two dips to start with. I'm gonna do them with weights. <clears throat> Dipping that knee down, straightening it out. Dipping it down, straightening it out. Trying to have as minimal amount of movement in the front leg as possible. <sighs> keep the breath moving. And keep those tummy muscles pulled in. Good. And rest. One more of those. <clears throat> Try and keep the shoulders relaxed and down the back. Next round, let's go. Dipping it down, stretching it back. Dipping it down, stretching it back. Whew. Really pull those tummy muscles in and up. Squeeze those inner thighs towards one another to help with your balance. Whew. Keep moving Whew. and rest, good. So the next one is kicks. So, <clears throat> let's get ready. Arms up, kick it forwards. Back to warrior one, kick it forwards, and then keep it moving. Keep your gaze straight out in front of you. Keep the shoulders up above the hips. Really pull those tummy muscles in, so your movement is really controlled. Good, and rest. Okay, we've got one more of those. Get ready, let's go. Pulling those tummy muscles in nice and tight. Really engaging those leg muscles. Nice, noisy exhales. Almost there. And rest. Okay, switching to the other side. Back to our dips. So I'm doing left leg back this time. Okay, dipping it down to the floor. Stretching that knee back. Dipping it down, stretching it back. Keeping the tummy muscles pulled in. Shoulders relaxed down the back. Good, and rest. Okay, we've got one more of those. Get ready. Let's go. Dipping it down, stretching it back. Good. Get rid of the weights. And then two rounds of kicks. So warrior one and then kicking three. Let's go. Keeping those tummy muscles pulled in. Keeping the eyes front and centre. 
shoulders are up, tummy muscles pulled in, engage the legs and the, the muscles in the legs. Good, and rest. One more, last 20 seconds of this one. Okay, get ready, and go. Really kicking that toe forward. Or you can always do the knee if you don't want to kick. Keep moving, keep breathing. We're almost there. Good stuff. And rest. Well done. Have a little drink of water if you need. Okay, this time, one foot forward, one foot back. Of the front leg, raise the toes towards your nose. Back leg can be straight or bent, whatever feels more comfortable. And then really stretch the chest forwards and then really round through your back as much as you can. Stretch the chest forwards, round through the back. Stretch the chest forwards, round through the back. And then move to the other side. Toes up, stretch the chest forwards, round through the back. Stretch the chest forwards, round through the back. Stretch the chest forwards, round through the back. Good. Okay, next one. This is really about working the inner and the outer thighs. So we start at one end of the mat, we come into a side lunge, really stretching out down the inner thighs, and then really squeeze them together as you come back up, and then lift the leg up to really stretch it into the outer hip. So we go over into our side lunge, toes can be up or down, whichever feels best on your leg, and then you come up, lift the leg. Go back to your side lunge, come back and up, lift the leg. Try and keep your shoulders as much above your hips as you can as you do that leg lift. If you let your shoulders come over, then you're using your side and not your outer hip. So the shoulders need to be up so we can really work this muscle in the side of our bum. Okay, fall one way, fall the other way. This is hard enough without adding any weights in, so you can give the weights a rest for this one. Okay, let's go. So, lunging it over, feel that stretch. Come back, lift. Go back, feel the stretch. Stand up and lift. Good. Remember to keep breathing. Nice, noisy exhales. And the first round's done already. Okay, three more this side, then we'll switch. Okay, get ready and go. Lunge can be as low or as high as is good for you. And then lift that leg. So lunging down and lifting. Keeping those shoulders up. Really using those muscles. Try not to use momentum too much to lift the leg. Really squeeze those outer bum muscles to get that leg lifted. And rest. Two more this side. Get ready. Let's go. And lift it up. Good stuff. Remember to keep those tummy muscles pulled in and up because that will help with the movement. And rest. One more this side. Get ready. And go. Nice low lunges. Whoop. And a lift. Good stuff. Keep moving. Excellent. And then we'll move to the other side. So to the other ends of your mats. <coughs> Get ready, take the lunge, and then lift that leg. 
Really working that outer hip, keeping the shoulders up. Squeezing those leg muscles. So we're really getting into that outer hip. Good, and rest. Three more. Let's go. Nice low lunge, and then a little lift. Nice low lunge. Really squeeze those leg muscles up. The lift is really controlled. Squeeze it up. Good, and rest. Two more. Two more and this one's done. We're flying through them this morning. Let's go. Nice and low. And lift and squeeze. Nice and low to stretch. Lift and squeeze. Remember to keep that breath moving. Nice, noisy exhales. Good, and rest. Last 20 seconds. <clears throat> okay, get ready. Let's go. Lift and squeeze. Really pull those tummy muscles in. Don't forget about them. Engaging those leg muscles. And we're done, well done. Get a little drink of water if you need to, and then we'll just stretch out those legs before we do the last round. Okay, so come into the tops of your mats. Inhale. Really stretch up, reach up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Nice big bend of the knees. Step the left leg back, step the right leg back into a downward facing dog. Stretch the chest through towards the thighs. Float the left leg up behind you. Really stretch those toes up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, open the hip. Really stretch those toes over the back towards the right shoulder. And then bring that leg all the way through, place it down on the floor, coming into pigeon. <clears throat> Keeping the shoulders up, settling your pigeon, really stretching out through the left glutes and the back of the leg. And then if you want to, stretch the right foot in, so bend the back leg up and you can hold that with your hand. A few breaths here. And then release that back leg, place the hands down by the side of the front knee, tuck the back toes and lift the knee, and step it back to your downward facing dog. Have a bit of a pad through the heels, one heel coming down, then the other heel coming down, just to stretch down the backs of the legs and down the backs of the calves. And then float the right leg up, bend at the knee, open the hip, and stretch those toes over your back towards the left shoulder on this side. Couple of breaths there, really stretching. And then float that leg all the way through it, coming into pigeon on this side. <clears throat> Get set up in your pigeon first, really stretching through the back of the right um, glutes and the right thigh. And then if you want to, bend the left leg in, so bend the back leg up and pull that in with your hands to really stretch down the front of the quad on that side. Excellent stuff. Release that off. Untuck the toes. Step it back to your downward facing dog. Really stretching that chest through towards the thighs. And then set your knees down on the floor and come into a seated position. Okay, last set is based on camel. So I'm gonna give you some options. You can either do camel lifts, where we start sat on our heels like this, hands on your hips, and you're lifting to camel and you're coming back down. 
lifting to camel, coming back down. So that's your first option. Your second option is a bit stronger on the legs. <clears throat> so you start in your camel, you really tighten up everything in your body, in your legs. You tuck the tailbone under, and then we pulse it back, keeping that straight line, and then we bring it back forwards. Pulse it back, keeping that straight line, and we bring it forwards. So you can do either. If you want to make it more difficult for yourself, you can, of course, use the weights. And we'll go very 80s on the weights if you're um, doing the camel pulses. We'll start the weights in front of us, and then we'll bring it to our hips as we pulse up. Take them back here, bring them to our hips as we pulse up. If you're doing the camel, these ones, whatever I called those, I can't remember. Pulses, lean back, something like that. You can have the, the weights down by your sides, and you can also squeeze your arms into your sides as you go back, which again is gonna help with keeping that straight line. Or if you want to be really, really mean to yourself, you can have your weights at your chest, which is obviously gonna give you more weight at the top so that when you're going back, it's gonna work your legs even stronger. Okay, so it's up to you. If you wanna do four and four, you can do four and four. If you want to do eight of the same exercise, do eight of the same exercise. Equally, play around with what's more comfortable. If you're doing the pulses up to here, then I'd recommend keeping your feet flat on the floor. But if you're doing the lean backs, it might be more comfortable on your knees to have your toes bent rather than having um, your feet flat. But that will mean that your feet will get more involved in the exercise. So it will make it easier on your legs. So choose, choose what suits your practice this morning. Okay, I'm gonna do four and four. So let's go, and I'm gonna do them with the weights. So really pulsing those hips up, then taking them back. <sighs> really think about engaging the arm muscles too. <sighs> so we're really <laughs> moving as though we're moving through treacle. <sighs> Everything's engaged. And the first 20 seconds are over already. It's gonna be so fast, and then we can lay on the floor. <laughs> okay, next round. Let's go. Again, I'm gonna exhale on the up because that's when I'm squeezing everything tighter. So it makes sense to me to exhale that way. Good, and rest. Two down, six to go. Okay, next round. Good stuff. Squeeze those tummy muscles. Good, and rest. Okay, last round. Really think about getting those inner thighs involved as well. So that really is gonna give you support in your upper body. So squeeze the inner thighs together as you come up. That really engages all of the deep core muscles. Good, and rest. Okay, the last four are your lift and lowers. Camel lean backs, <laughs> keeping the body nice and straight, really engaging those inner thighs. Obviously only go far, as far back as you can keep control of the movement. Squeezing everything in, squeezing everything back up. Keep the breath moving. Good, and rest. Now we've started those, I bet you're glad I didn't make you do eight. <laughs> next round, let's go. Leaning it back, squeezing it forwards. Really squeezing everything around. Squeezing those tummy muscles up, squeezing those inner thighs together, squeezing the bum muscles. Whew. And rest. Last two. It's temporary, it's nearly over. 
Okay, next round, let's go. Taking it back, squeezing it back up. The more you do of these, the stronger you'll get if you want to do more of these. And the further back you'll be able to lean. Squeezing everything in. And a rest. Okay, last 20 seconds, then we can lay on the floor. Well done, guys. You've done an awesome job this morning. Let's go. Squeezing it in, squeezing it up. Nice, noisy exhales. We're almost there. And rest. Yay, well done. That's over. Okay, come down onto your bum, swing the legs around, come all the way down onto your back, feet hip width, and just windscreen wipe those legs from one side to the other. Nice and slowly, letting one knee come in, then letting the other knee come in. One knee coming in, and then letting the other knee come in. Well done. And then take both legs up towards the ceiling and just have a moment in legs up wall pose. Just letting all the blood float down towards the hips, maybe circling through the ankles if that feels good. And then stretch the legs in whichever way feels good. You might want to take them out to the side and cross them over, take them out to the side, cross them the other way. Maybe you want to stretch them out long, pulling one leg in and then switching them over. That's a lot of work on the legs this morning, so just give them a little bit of what they're asking for. And then bring both feet down to the floor, arms down by your sides. Lift up the hips, coming into bridge. Maybe rolling onto your shoulders and taking the bind. Really stretching those hips up to give your legs a stretch down the front of the quads. So down the front of the thigh. Really stretching those hips up. And then relaxing the back back down onto the mat again. Taking the hip, the arms out to the sides. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll them over one way. Hug back to centre. Roll them over the other way. Hug them to centre, roll one way, hug them to centre, roll them the other way. Good stuff. One more each side, hug to centre, roll one way, hug to centre, roll the other way. And then coming back to centre, we'll come into final savasana. Just letting your body seal the practice. Amy, it's just gone quarter past eight if you need to run. <laughs> and then completely relax everything onto the mat. Let the shoulders be comfortable underneath the torso. Let the lower back be comfortable. So any pain in the lower back, bring the feet to the floor and let the knees roll in. Otherwise, take the legs out long, feet fall open. And then completely relax everything onto your mat. Letting everything be heavy. Just giving the signal to your body that the <laughs> practice is over. And it can start thinking about getting your temperature back to normal. Letting your heart rate return to its resting pace. Letting the breath recover. And then whilst you're here, just take six deep, long breaths. If you really want to stimulate the rest and digest system, then take those breaths in through the left nostril and out through the right nostril. In through the left nostril, out through the right nostril.
and then gradually start to think about the moving. Maybe rolling the head from one side to the other, maybe circling through the wrists or the ankles or having a big stretch. Maybe you feel like hugging your knees in or doing a twist. Move your body in whatever way it wants to move. <sighs> and then when you're ready, roll over onto your side and come up to seated. And thanks for practicing with me this morning. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs>